What's up, it's Jan, back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. This is gonna be my 2023 full moon readathon announcement. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to this announcement video that I am on a time crunch to film for. Let's play a game called Can Jan Film This in Less Than 20 Minutes Before She Has to Leave for Work. All right, so if you're new here, this will be the second year of the Full Moon Readathon. This readathon kind of stems from my book club called the Full Moon Book Club, and it's called that because our live shows are on the full moon of every month. In case you missed the announcement, I am stopping my videos announcing the book club picks in chunks of three. I'm now just announcing them the month prior and just hoping I talk about it enough for people to know what's going on because <laughs> it was stressing me out too much to plan that far ahead and then I wasn't in the mood for the books once the time came for me to actually read it for the month. I felt bad making my guests plan that far ahead. So to solve all those problems, check my community tab, check my Instagram. It's always linked down below. It's just at Jan Agaton. I don't have a full moon book club or readathon specific Instagram. Okay, so this readathon started last year. This year it's gonna be longer. It's also still gonna be in August but people requested for it to be longer than a week which made me so happy and I just like could not even fathom that people were even participating right. So this year it's gonna be 13 days. August 1st to the 13th. 13 is my favorite number. This year it starts on the 1st and if you didn't know I do my first of the month reading sprints on YouTube every month and the full moon for August is also August 1st so I think I'm gonna schedule my book club live show on the second and then I'll still have my first of the month sprints. Full moon book club pick for July. The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew and my guest is going to be Casey from Casey Can Read. If you want to hear more about this book I have my last three picks video linked down below. Okay so the readathon. Basically how it works is that I came up with four spookyish characters and each character had three prompts so two reading prompts and an activity prompt. Originally I had them as crescent moon, half moon, and full moon and that's still how it's going to look on the graphics this year. The graphics will be available on my Instagram or you can message me. I feel like that's the easiest way for me to just send them and they'll also be on my Patreon page if you're part of the lair. Patreon links are always down below as well. They already know what the prompts are so they got early early access. Originally I had crescent moon, half moon, full moon and the full moon one was always the activity prompt but in order to collect the characters you had to read so <laughs> the idea was that you had to do them in order from crescent to full moon. Most people forgot about that rule, didn't want to do that rule or whatever. So this year it's optional. You could either do them in any order that you want. You could do the activity prompt first, but you have to do all three prompts in order to collect each character. It'll make more sense once you see the graphic and everything. I'll insert it here so you can at least get a glimpse of it. Oh, you can double up on prompts. That means across characters too. I don't care. Okay, so this year we have the skeleton, the jack-o-lantern, the vampire, and the devil. So we're gonna go through each prompt and hopefully I'll be done with this by the time my alarm goes off for work, but probably not. So first, the skeleton. So the crescent moon prompt is read a hardback book, a hardcover book, because you know, bones felt like that was fitting. <laughs> so that's really easy and straightforward. Number two, this is my favorite prompt of this entire readathon, ready? Read a book between 206 to 300 pages. These numbers did not just come out of my ass, okay? But I knew that, you know, adults have 206 bones in their bodies. And so I looked up how many bones people have at birth. Cause you know, you have more at birth and then they all fuse together as you grow, <laughs> ideally. So that's where the numbers 206 and 300 come from because Google says you have about 300 bones at birth and then they fuse together which is freaking wild right and then the activity prompt the full moon prompt is take a picture of your favorite graphic tee whether you're wearing it put it around a bunch of books or whatever or just wear it whatever your favorite graphic tee just incorporate it post about it tell me you wore it that day show it to me if you're not a social media type of person then chat it to me if you're in the lair discord put it in the discord that is the first character the next one is jack-o-lantern the crescent moon prompt is read a nostalgic spooky book. You can interpret this any way you want. You could read a Goosebumps book, that's always nostalgic for people. You can read a reread, or you can read something that just gives you the nostalgic spooky vibes, like something that reminds you of your hometown in the fall, something that has a tradition that you used to do. You know what I mean by nostalgic spooky vibes, right? Okay. The next prompt is read a book that someone else picked, picking from a pumpkin patch. 
jack-o-lantern. I thought that one was pretty creative as well, not gonna lie. But yeah, so just have someone else pick it, whether it's someone in your household, a significant other, a friend, family member, another booktuber. If you get a recommendation from another creator, that works. If you're just casually talking to someone and they're like, hey, read this, that works. If someone physically just picks something off your shelf, honestly, even a random number generator or whatever would work. If you just like have a bunch of books, set up a random generator on the internet and have that pick for you. That's still like someone or something else picked it for you. So all of those are valid. And then the activity prompt for the jack-o-lantern is get or make something that's pumpkin flavored. Straightforward, I'll probably get, oh, they probably won't have pumpkin spice yet, huh? I don't know what I'll do yet. I hope they have something pumpkin flavored by August, but probably not. I'll have to give that one a think. I'll probably end up buying some pumpkin pastry from the grocery store. Oh, my alarm just went off. Okay, the next character is the vampire. If you've been here a while, you know that I'm a vampire girly. I love my bats. <laughs> my Patreon is called The Lair. It's vampire themed, so I can't believe I didn't do this character last year. I did do a bat last year though, and that was super fun. I'm just so happy that it happened and that it's happening again. The Crescent Moon prompt is read a book with blood in the title or the cover, aka a dowry of blood if you haven't already. <laughs> I'll either probably probably do a reread of that or I still have to read Blood Debt. That was a Patreon buddy read <laughs> last month that I didn't even start. There's that Blood Mercy series that's going around everywhere. A lot of vampire books have blood in the title, but it doesn't have to be a vampire book. A lot of thrillers have blood on the cover. Even if it's like a splatter of blood in like the lettering or whatever, that counts. Any blood on the cover counts. The half moon prompt is read a book with your favorite supernatural creature. Cause like I said, vampires are my favorite. So literally anything, witches, I'll even count ghosts. Aliens, do aliens count? I don't know, werewolves, supernatural creatures, your favorite, pick one. The activity prompt is take a picture or just drink a red drink. And that could be the drink itself or the container <laughs> that you're drinking it from, the container, the cup, whatever. So like it could be a red mug, a red cup, a red glass, or you could drink, you know, red wine if you're of age, some red juice, red Kool-Aid, red Gatorade. If the can of your energy drink has red, red bull, <laughs> that all counts, okay? And then the last, character we have is the devil. The first prompt is read a book with fire involved in any way. So again, that could be the title or the cover. There's like that big fire trope that I love. If you read nothing to see here, the twins spontaneously combust in flames, like that counts. I have burn our bodies down. I might read that. Even if, if it's not the word fire in the title, if it has burn, if it has heat, flame, smoke even? Sure, that's fine. The half moon prompt is read a book with a morally gray character. So usually I would just Google. There are a bunch of lists that have books that apply. Six of Crows always comes to mind. Morally gray means like characters who are doing questionable things. From different perspectives, you could see like the good in it. Vicious by V.E. Schwab is another one that comes up on those lists. So that's the best way I can explain it. I don't know if anyone has a better definition, but that's how I interpret morally gray. Just love a good morally gray character. So like Fear of the Flames I'm reading right now, she's doing stuff for herself, but she's also like killing people along the way. And it doesn't always have to be killing people. It could be like, you know, gaslighting, manipulation. I feel like a lot of people know what that means. I don't know why I'm like over elaborating. Very last prompt is read past your bedtime. So that's the activity prompt for the devil. Cause you know, rebellious. <laughs> reading past your bedtime. So whatever that means to you. If you go to sleep at nine o'clock, read till 10, read till 9.30, 9.01, I don't care. <laughs> read past your bedtime. It doesn't have to be into the wee hours of the night. I will probably take it to the extreme and read till like three to 5 a.m. But like, that's just me who's an overachiever. But yeah, those are the four characters. Those are all the prompts. There's no like point system or teams or anything. It's Hello, it's Jan from the future, if you will. I did forget to mention something. We have full moon readathon merch and merch in general. It has some spoopy designs, some full moon esque designs. My merch shop is always linked down below. If you order in the beginning of July, you should be able to get it in time because it goes in like two week batches, if that makes sense. Honestly, I don't know where we're at in the whole, like it's called smart launch. I don't know where we're at for each design. So I would just order as soon as you can. 
hopefully this video is up early enough but yes you should be able to have it for the readathon the full moon readathon specific top i made says shh dot 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 i'm in the middle of a readathon and there's like an open book with like bats and stars and then i also recently made mugs that say in my defense the moon was full and i was left unsupervised which is a quote i got from the internet and then i have previous designs as well i also have lair exclusive merch so that's Patreon only. You won't see that in the links down below, but obviously patrons will. <laughs> and yeah, you could just click like view entire store or whatever if you end up on like specific designs. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but yeah, merch is down below. That's all I wanted to say. My brain is not braining today. Back to regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> I'll have the graphics for your like your TBRs and everything and I'll repost everything or as much as I can. So sorry in advance if you follow me on Instagram, my stories are gonna be extremely long for about 13 days. So if you mute me, I won't be offended, I promise. I just want everyone to see what's going on and who's reading what and get recommendations from other people and everything. So I am excited. What else? I'm gonna have sprints on the first, like I said, for my first of the month sprints. I'm definitely gonna have it on the last day too, on the 13th. I'll probably have a patreon sprint or two in between but yeah I usually only go live on YouTube on the first so if you want more sprints from me I just go live on patreon I would love to have you if you are even remotely interested <laughs> in joining the lair it's a really fun time over there we have a discord like I said buddy reads monthly readathons movie nights exclusive content in general so just have to put in my little spiel in there because I love the little community we've created we get to know each other so well we get personal we talk every single day that discord is always going on <laughs> that is the spiel about that what else is there anything i'm forgetting to cover just have fun with it complete prompts get a lot of reading done message me if you have any questions comment down below if you have any questions i will answer all of them <laughs> tag me in all your posts about the readathon of the activity prompts tag me it's just at jan agaton i would love to look at everything you post comment on things you post repost reshare <laughs> everything i am the only host for this readathon so you only have to worry about tagging me if anything i'm gonna be vlogging if you vlog first of all means the fucking world to me again tag me on youtube if you do vlog i watched every single one last year that i saw <laughs> tagged me it blows my mind that that many people participated and wanted this to happen again let alone people like took the time to vlog and edit and everything like yeah i met so many people from last year through this readathon i cannot believe it so as always forever grateful for every single one of you let me know if you're participating down below let me know if you have any questions once again there's my 8:40 alarm i gotta go to work now i really hope i'm not forgetting anything there's no group book or anything it's basically just a prompt based readathon with all that being said if you made it to the end of this video Video. let's put any type of moon emoji in the comments down below any phase of the moon i don't care oh also speaking of full moon one of my subscribers got me this full moon calendar isn't that so dope like come on so thank you paulina if you're watching thank you to everyone thank you in advance for participating if you're planning on it thank you for watching this video hope y'all had a great day stay safe and stay spooky always and i'll see y'all in my next one bye